So with this whole dice game, right? I mean, you know, the dice, there's a, they say there's a, people that are professional with dice. I had a friend here, uh, Richard Turner. They call him the card uh, mechanic. So he knows how to manipulate cards, right? And you look at him the way he shuffles, you would have, I mean, it's impossible what he does. Do you know guys that you play with that are also, you know, magicians when it comes down to the, the right. dice? And is that, can you read it? Do you see people that know how to do that? Yeah. First of all, I wouldn't call them magicians. I would call them crooks. But uh, <laughs> yes, I actually had a couple of personal stories. One of them was in Monte Carlo in the beginning of like 2005 or six. I was one of the newbies there, came and started playing for money and actually beat a couple of guys, probably wrong guys at the time for money. And then some other guy just bumped into me in the in the in a very posh hotel and start talk, talking to me in Russian, like he knows me and say, oh, let's play backgammon for money. And I was already like a great player. I, I thought, well, you know, why why would you challenge me? You know, like everybody's scared and you suddenly like jump into me. I say, okay, let's play. So we play like two hundred euro a point or something, and and I was like losing I don't know a few thousand. Then my friend like came and sit down, start watching the game for like ten minutes. And just told me. Stop playing, just pay this guy and let's go. You know, just, I said, well, I mean, like, I obviously see that guy is playing worse than me and gets very lucky. Right? So I just paid and we went. He said, this is, this is a cheater. I mean, he's a cheater. He's like a, like a dice mechanic. So he said he, he just, the, the way, again, the way the, the cheating been done, at least from to my knowledge, over the year, right? There was a couple of cheating incidents in New York over the years, but it was also involved all the things that uh, come with backgammon which is like, it was a guy's board, specially made with some magnets, very heavy board Got underneath. It. And, it, and his dice also had magnets, which will, would be more heavier on like a six, for example, right? When he has to roll it. And he would exchange the dice during the game, you know, they would start mm -hmm. playing with normal dice, win a lot of money, and, and somehow it was proved that, that he was cheating, so he, he didn't get paid. So the idea isn't on the way you roll it. The idea yeah. is all a magnetic type yeah. of thing is what But that's it is. just one of the things. What other things I've seen, because I travel around the world, mm -hmm. right, as we discussed. Mm -hmm. I've been probably like 50 plus countries uh, playing backgammon, right? And everybody's different. Like, like for example, I, I play with some guys in, in Georgia for money, and uh, what I noticed is uh, during the match, before important rolls, they were dropping their dice to the floor, right? And, and I, had to, I had to look down. So when I was looking up again, you know, they would really roll the number and it was always lucky number, you know, for, for, like, for example, when they need to hit me, right? A very important, you know, shot. And then people told me that this is like a professionals, cheating professionals. What they do is when they drop in the dice and they pick it up the, from the floor and put it back into the cup, they put only one die back into the cup and another one they fix in with their, with their finger. And when they roll, you know, first of all, your eyes are busy being down, right? When you look up, they roll already, but they roll only one die, and second one they just put on, 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 wow. on, on the board very quick. But of course, it requires a lot of skill. Sure, right? I of can't course. do that. Yeah. But they, they put the number which wow. they need to hit you, like for example. Isn't that three. amazing? Yeah. So, yeah, but again, I play for 20 plus years, right? And I've heard like two stories like that, and it never so happened. So it's not as story. common in the, in the not game at, as Not it is. at all. People Got are more it. concerned usually with the internet play. Both for poker and backgammon, you know, collusion or people can break into the programs and somehow like cheat, you know, like maybe there have been a couple of stories with poker. In backgammon, they, they're concerned that people use computer to help them play because you can ask computer for best decision. Computers in backgammon, you know, there are programs that exist that play on the level of the best players in the world. Similar in chess. In chess, actually, they're even stronger. So if you have computer help, you, you know, you, you, you gain a huge advantage.